Hello there techies, my name is Malay Vasada and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will take a look at how can we work with SharePoint Online Site Recycle Bin using PNP PowerShell. Before we get started, if you have not gone through my previous video on a major change that has happened in the PNP PowerShell, I would recommend you to go and watch that video before resuming this otherwise your PowerShell scripts might really be failing. Here I have already imported the PNP PowerShell module and I have connected to the site using the newer approach using the newer registration that I'm talking about. Now that we are connected to the site, it's now time to get all the recycle bin items. Before that, let's see the recycle bin items itself. I'm on a sales team site. Let's go to recycle bin. So as you can see, we have many files folders in the recycle bin and the list items as well. Some of these file items got deleted on 10th of September and then some of them or many of them deleted prior to that. So first, let's go ahead and retrieve all of these recycle bin items. So the way we're going to be retrieving is get PNP recycle bin item and that's it. Let's first go and execute this. It will ask for the credentials. And there we have it. You can see it has returned all the items. So let me scroll up and you can see whatever we saw as a part of a recycle bin is now returned. Now, let's say if you want to restore a specific item, then we need to get the ID of that specific item. So for example, let's go and restore the selection.pdf, which is under the sites slash sales slash products document. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is first, let's store this specific item. So we'll call it as an item, get PNP recycle bin item identity and we need the ID so let's grab that ID and let's just pass it on from here now then we have a handle on that specific selection.pdf let's go and restore that item so for that we will be using restore pnp recycle bin item provide the identity and the identity is this item and let's use the force command let's go and execute this Okay, and it has returned successfully. So what that means is that item, that file is now successfully restored. Let's check that. Let's comment this out. Let's remove the other part. And let's run this. Let's scroll up. And now you see we do not have the specific file which we just restored. Okay, now let's see. Now we have some files which was deleted before a week or so. So let's go ahead and try to restore all of these specific files only. Let's see how do we do that. In order to do that, let's put a pipeline character. Let's select an object. Let's put the opening bracket and closing bracket dollar underscore dot deleted date. And before that, let's just go for a variable let's call it a uh, previous date and get date which is today dot add days and let's restore everything which was deleted 10 days back so this is the new date that we will be getting which will have a date which is 10 days back so that's going to be greater than the previous date and then let's use the pipelining character as a restore pnp recycle bin item with force so we will be achieving all of this in one line it will get all the items it will filter the items with the deleted date less than 10 days or deleted within the last 10 days and then it will restore them as well just a small mistake it's not select it's actually where object all right let's go and execute this okay it has executed them successfully so let's go and validate all the items let's comment this out let's also comment this out and let's see scroll up and you can see we do not now have those excel files let's go and check even in the sharepoint site 
okay let me refresh we see this was the previously the case let's hit refresh and you see now those files are successfully restored so i hope the simple example helped you to understand how can you use pnp powershell to work with the recycle bin and restore the items or restore a specific items within a specific date range i thank you so much for watching video